You ready? Because that scripture would work for me. God said, put it in context. So I went up to verse 3. Now, everywhere you see the word comfort or consolate or counsel, okay, I want you to count them. Watch how many times God says comfort and counsel. Comfort, comfort, counsel. Okay? Watch this. Starting at verse 3. Blessed be unto God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy, and the God of what? All comfort. Who what? comforted us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them which are in trouble by the comfort wherewith ourselves are comforted of God. For, amen. For as the suffering of Christ abound in us and our consolation, which is another form of comforting, our consolation also abundant by Christ. And whether we be afflicted, it is for our consolation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring of the same suffering, which we also suffer, or whether we be comforted, in, our, in it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope of your steadfast knowing that as you are partakers of the sufferings, so shall you be also consolation. For we would not, brother, have you ignorant and, uh, and of our trouble which came to us out of Asia, that we were pressed out of measure, depressed, above strength, insomuch that we despair even unto the life. But we had the sentence. Now do you see how the deliverance comes in? What does the word comfort in the Greek means? Consolation during tribulation. Then it hit me. Jesus said, I must go away and send you another comforter. So when he said another comforter, that means he was the comforter the whole time when he was here. So when he went, he said the comforter. What's another name for the comforter? The Holy Ghost, the helper, the advocator. And when we receive Jesus Christ, what does that comforter go into? Us! So if I have the Holy Ghost in me that's called the Comforter, and I'm not comforting you during your tribulation, I'm not helping you get delivered. So true deliverance comes from me comforting you while you're going through your mess. So I don't have true deliverance until I'm using what I have to comfort you. We can call it God all we want, and God send this, but true deliverance comes from me using what's inside me called the Comforter to comfort you through your trials and tribulations. And if I'm not doing it, you're not delivered. That's why I pride myself on the ministry of helping those in distress, in discontent, homeless, smelling bad. It don't matter. I'm going out to comfort them. Amen? Because now I understand where my true deliverance comes from. It has nothing to do with God taking the taste out of my mouth. It has something to do with me giving away what he put inside me. The love and comfort. 